Quantum Theory As Max uses her powers more and more, she is splitting time into more and more paths. Maybe the reason she gets exhausted from using her powers is not so much that she used up all her endurance, but rather that she has to use more power to make each change on top of the last. There are a few instances in the game that show that Max is now seeing and interpreting multiple timelines. The most noticeable example is the deer. In the junkyard, Max comes across a deer that seems to be slightly translucent. When she takes the picture, nothing is in the photo. The deer was both there and not there at the same time. The camera is the observer that dictated the definite state. What do I mean by the camera being the observer? Well, in the quantum world, a state of a particle is defined by observation. A particle that is not being observed is actually in multiple states at the same time. However, when one uses a measuring device and observes it, it is in one defined state. So because Max is able to see things that are both there and not there, that means that Max is able to observe the universe as if she is not observing it. She is able to see things that are in two different states at the same time. If you are having a hard time understanding what I'm trying to say, watch this video about quantum theory and then come back, because I'm about to say some weird shit. You can see that Max has been researching quantum entanglement and Schrodinger's quantum cat. So there is some weight to my theory that she is a person outside of quantum observation. If Max were to look inside the box with Schrodinger's cat, she would see two cats at the same time, one dead and the other alive. A normal person would only see one cat. It could also be that she can see both versions of the cat because she has seen both outcomes and created definite universes for each state of the cat. AKA, she has observed the cat being dead and observed the cat being alive, so she sees both because she is the observer. Another instance of something being both there and not there is Chloe's writing. In episode 1, you can see into Chloe's car and see no writing in her car. However, when you enter her car later, it is there. All the other details in the car are exactly the same. That means they would have to create two different cars in the game, and that is actually more work for the developers. In episode 2, the distinctive writing in Chloe's car is completely gone again. The fact that this is tied to Chloe makes me think there is some significance to Chloe being alive when she should be dead. So what Max is doing by changing time is creating multiple quantum universes that she can observe at the same time. The reason it gets harder for her to use her time traveling powers is because she has to use them on all the universes that she is observing instead of the original one. Which is also why the hurricane at the end of the game gets worse and worse when she keeps messing with time. Side note, the instance of multiple multiple quantum universes interacting is called quantum weirdness. It is supposed to explain why particles can be in many states at the same time. When a particle is not being observed and it is in many states, it is because a ghost universe is interacting with our universe in that very specific type of circumstance. 